Welcome to a TLDR Wrath Guide for the Lich King, for everyone who finally has what they've always wanted. The Lich King has three health-based phases and two intermissions, and this is going to be a long fight. During phase one, the boss summons adds, which need to be picked up by an off-tank. Ghouls die to passive damage, but horrors have a frontal, and you need to tank them away from the boss. Necrotic Plague is a dot on a random player that jumps to the nearest target when decursed. Move out to the adds and remove it to give it to them, and once you have two adds with the plague, they should just circle jerk each other to death with it. And whenever it jumps, it gives Arthas a damage buff, so keep an eye on the main tank over the phase. Infest is a raid-wide dot that gets removed when you're above 90% health, so Disc Priests can pre-shield this to prove they're actual healers. And on Heroic, Shadow Traps appear under random people, so don't stand in them. At 70%, you'll start the intermission, and you need to run to the edge of the room to avoid the AoE in the middle. Just remember to dispel the last plague away from anyone else to get rid of it. Raging Spirits spawn that need to be picked up and faced into the middle as they have a frontal silence, and Ice Spheres travel from the boss to the raid and explode if they reach you, so have range take them out. The boss also gives people a stacking dot and a frontal cone, but this is mainly a healer problem, so spread out a little to reduce the number hit. After the third spirit spawn, the edge of the platform breaks, so move back to the middle before you fall off and get ratioed on Twitter to begin phase 2. You still get infest here, but he now has a few new abilities. Defile puts shit on the floor under a random player that grows if you stand in it, so don't. You get a couple of seconds before it goes off, so if you do get it, try to get the fuck out of the group. For tanks, Soul Reaper is a hit of tank damage with a delayed second hit, and increases the boss's haste, so swap on every cast. He also summons three Valkyr that pick up random people and try to yeet them off the closest edge, so use slows and stuns to stop them while you nuke them down. Tanks try to keep the boss in the middle of the platform so the raid has longer to kill them, but do watch out for Defile. On Heroic, their health is tripled, but you only need to get them to 50% before they drop their kidnap victim. Then they fly above the raid and deal damage to random players, so get range to kill them if your healers are struggling. But it is better to ignore them and focus the boss once you have the gear for it. And this phase is good to last, especially if you're struggling with the Valkyr. At 40%, you start the second intermission, which is exactly the same as the first, except you get one extra spirit. Now for phase 3, and you do still get Defile here and Soul Reaper for tanks. He now summons Vile Spirits that explode if they touch anyone, so they need to be soaked by the off tank. Hold the boss near the edge of the platform and when they spawn, move to the opposite side. Have a hunter drop a frost trap to slow them down, and the off tank should stand between the spirits in the raid, taunting and soaking them one by one. Harvest Soul is taking damage on a random player that sends them inside Frostmourne if they survive. When inside, you need to either kill the warden yourself, or if you're a weak ass healer, heal Terranus so he can kill it for you. Make sure to interrupt the ad or dispel it from Terranus, because if he dies, he'll take you with him. On Heroic, the entire raid is taken inside instead. You need to stack up and move slowly around the edge of the room to dodge a load of falling shit from the sky. You also take ticking damage, and if anyone dies, Arthas gets a massive stacking damage buff, so don't f***ing die, or you'll probably wipe the raid. When you eventually get to 10%, Arthas will just straight up kill you all. Then Tyrion does some light shit, and Terranus reses you all to beat what's left out of the Lich King, and make you sit through 10 minutes of dialogue to get your loot. And that's it for Wrath of the Lich King. Congrats on your final kill. Hopefully you found all these guides useful, and we'll see what comes next for Classic. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, I'll catch you in the next one.